All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're out at the Hyatt Farm Shooting Complex over here in Pocton, North Carolina. Just on behind you is a 600-yard range before we're getting ready to jump over there and have a little bit of fun. But before we do that, I want to introduce you to my good friend, Steve. We've got this ballistic head here. Can you just give us a little bit of information on where you got this thing, Definitely. Uh, who has them, and uh, basically all the background information. Go ahead. Ooh, well, we're kind enough to get this head over by... Uh, Ballistic Dummy Labs in California. My buddy Weston out there, thank you so much. He shot us over this uh, this head of shoot and just gonna have some fun. You'll see these heads on, uh, well, with military uh, law enforcement as well in yeah. movies, so. So what it is, anatomically correct with the skull with a ballistic jail system around it. Uh, we thought it'd be interesting to kind of shoot it with something fun. I know you've seen uh, Demolition Ranch. I think he shot his with a 50 cal. But let's do this, something a little bit more realistic. We're gonna shoot it with this brand new Palmetto State Army PSAK-47. A little plug for the guys over here at PSA. Uh, I got the link to this guy, or the AK, on my website, kb32tac.com. But let's go ahead, we're gonna shoot this thing right in, in the nose, hopefully. Uh, aim a little high if we would, but uh, we're gonna see what it does. We're gonna put it on slow-mo and have some fun with it. Here we go, stand by. All right, so, oh, it smells good. Uh, as you can see, this thing, we had a headshot um, right there, right almost between the eyes and the forehead, and it came right out the back. We had some green paint. Didn't realize it had the paint in there. That's kind of cool. Uh, so I kind of thought it'd be interesting to shoot this thing with some, uh, the Fort Scott munitions, the nine millimeter stuff at close range. Uh, We've got this side of the head. You can see there's a little cracking right here in the skull, but uh, let's shoot one in the ear and see how that looks with the uh, from close range with that Fort Scott munitions, the spun copper stuff. Stand by. Okay, real quickly, I thought I'd be uh, show you guys what the Fort Scott munitions looks like. This is like an 85 grain, goes at 1,350 feet per second. This will defeat level three armor, soft armor. So uh, I thought it'd be interesting to go ahead and pop one real close right into the temple of this guy. Maybe not the temple, but right here in the earlobe and uh, see what it does. So um, maybe a foot away, just to be safe, right? So yeah. Oh, yeah. anyway, let's go ahead and do this and uh, let's have some fun. Here we go. I only got one camera though, here we go. <laughs> All right, so we're still out here and we're having too much fun with his head. Um, as you can see, that Fort Scott munitions, man, it, it did a hurting on this thing. I'm gonna bring it over here and show it to you. Um, but look what it did to the back side of that guy. Uh, it, and to this side, I mean, it just, that was amazing. So we thought, you know, why don't we do this? Uh, just for shits and giggles, uh, I have some ammunition here from the guys over there at, uh, uh, Callaway Ballistics, and my good friend, BJ Weed, um, he has always wanted me to shoot this thing. This is the uh, Colt uh, 38 Special Revolver, and I think, it was, is that the Cobra? What do they call that thing? That is the Cobra. Colt Cobra. Oh, yeah. So we're going to shoot it up close, see what happens, uh, and have some fun. And then when we get done with that, we're going to shoot it with this guy. Uh, this is the little build I did the other day. Now, 20 round magazines, because you're not allowed to shoot with uh, magazines with 30 rounds or more. Why do I do it like that? But anyway, 20 round mag, it doesn't even have 20 rounds in it, with the Callaway Ballistics 556 55 grain. And we're going to shoot that one up close too. So, Mr. Steve is going to hand me this guy. I'm going to hand him that. We're going to put this thing on slow mo and have some fun with this really beautiful little Colt Cobra. For my friend BJ. Stand by. We're just having too much fun.
All right, guys, so we're sitting in the office here. We lost the video for the outro of that uh, demonstration for the Ballistic Dummy Lab skull. That thing was pretty cool, and it was quite a surprise that we didn't anticipate that there was going to be that green paint in there. So when we shot it with this guy right here, that round went straight through that head. As a matter of fact, you can see the impacts in the, in the uh, mound behind it. But we had a great time. Ballistic Dummy Labs were located right there in Simi, California. And uh, they've sent these heads out to a lot of individuals. We tried to do what we could on the slow motion part of it. But uh, right now, these things are on sale for, hold on, wait for it, $139.99. So it's pretty interesting. Uh, you can take these things and shoot the hell out of them with whatever you want and uh, see exactly what your uh, particular firearm that you want to carry or do whatever uh, is going to do to that other end uh, in a defensive posture, I would say that. So with that being said, guys, uh, thanks, Steve. Uh, thanks to the guys out there, Ballistic Dummy Labs, uh, that Ballistic Gel Head, $139.99. And, uh, man, I tell you what, it was interesting just to see what the, the other uh things like uh the nine millimeter the uh, 38 special which is really not that powerful of a round uh as well as the 556 at close range so with that being said if you like the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so sport red white blue god bless america god bless those men women in uniform 24 7 for our freedom freedom comes in 7.6 2 by 39 from palmetto state armory isn't that beautiful look at that thing we got a review coming up on this guy here very shortly. Y'all be good. KB32, I'm out of here. Boom!